We support predominantly original equipment manufacturers, and our focus really is on companies that are constantly improving their product or developing new products that can afford poor quality and a long lag time. One of the main reasons why we invested in the Sawyer robot was because the order that we were receiving and the ship dates that we had to meet were such a close tolerance that we did not have the resources or the capability to produce that volume in that short of time. So once you start playing with the numbers and you look at, okay, it's going to take me five people running over the weekend, gosh, Sawyer is going to run all weekend, he's going to run every night while we're sleeping. This job that we're running is a steel job and we're able to run four pieces of raw material and each one of those pieces ultimately had five parts within it. So we were making 20 parts at a time and the runtime, depending on which of the five parts we were producing, was between two and a half and three and a quarter hours. So obviously that time is a killer if you're staffing. At this point in time, we've produced over 20,000 components. That would have been an impossibility using any other machine or equipment or people. The impact of Sawyer and Robotics, the tag team, is pretty significant because we've been pretty much focused on shorter runs and prototyping and have passed up a multitude of opportunities over the years for tens of thousands of quantity parts. We can now compete, not just in the United States for that business, we can compete around the world with this kind of technology.